So, the chemistry involving sewage spills by Simon. Chemistry causes uh, sewage spills, one of them being poor piping. Sewage pipes may get clogged or simply fail due to corrosion. Common causes of clogs include flushing incompatible items such as fat down the drain. Regarding the chemistry behind corrosion, is corrosion is when a refined metal is converted to a more chemically stable form, such as oxide, hydroxide, or sulfide. It is the gradual decomposition of materials, typically metals, as a result of chemical or and or electrochemical reactions with their surrounding. Clogs, on the other hand, are the are the most common cause of, uh, cause of sewer damage. Fats poured down the sewer drain will eventually clog and harden. Uh, cool, sorry, will cool and harden, forming clogs. Chemical repercussions of sewer spills. If untreated, sewage can become hazardous source of pollutants, contaminants that can infiltrate the human ecosystem and be dangerous to health, hygiene, and comfort. Sewage, uh, sewage's chemical makeup is uh, typically less than one part of solid matter per thousand parts of water. Sewage contains nitrogen and phosphorus and, harm, and harmful microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses, and protozoa. Direct contact with sewage or surfaces contaminated by sewage can result in illness. Sewage pollution can be linked to um, many negative uh, impacts to the ocean uh, that kill, killing marine flora and fauna and disrupting ecological processes. Chemistry behind the treatment of sewage. Specialized chemicals such as chlorine, hydrogen peroxide, sodium chloride, and sodium hypochlorite uh, bleach act as agents that disinfect, sanitize, and assist in the purification of wastewater at a treatment facility. Wastewater and sewage is treated in three uh, phases. The first and the primary phase, they remove the solids, the secondary bacterial decomposition, and the tertiary phase, which is just additional extra filtration. Some chemistry processes behind these steps and involving these steps would be oxidization, sedimentation, precipitation, and filtration, which are all heavily involved in the three primary steps behind sewage filtration. That's all the chemistry I have for now.